Today at the Boston Marathon bombing trial, we saw video for the very first time that prosecutors say shows the Sarnayev brothers next to a police car where an officer was murdered. Don Daler reports that the government says that killing was part of their escape plan. After a very detailed analysis of photo, video, and other evidence, we are releasing photos of these two suspects. The moment the FBI decided to unveil the photos of the two suspects three days after the bombings, the end game was in play. Prosecutors told the jury the men known only as Black Hat and White Hat prepared to flee, but they needed something first, and they were willing to kill rookie MIT cop Sean Collier to get it. Officer down. Officer down. Officer down. Ed Davis was Boston's police commissioner at the time. Why do you think they targeted Officer Sean Collier? I believe it was because uh, they were trying to find a, a, another firearm. Uh, they, they needed a, another handgun, and they saw him, and they thought they had an opportunity to get his gun. Did they get his gun? They did not. MIT's chief of police, John DeFava, showed the court why. Collier's holster had special safety locks that wouldn't allow anyone else to remove the gun. The jury was shown distant surveillance video of Johar and Tamerlan Sarnayev approaching Collier's patrol car and allegedly struggling to retrieve his gun. At that moment, grad student Nate Harmon rode by on his bike. He told the court there was someone leaning into the driver's side door. He snapped up, stood up, and turned around, and he looked startled. Prosecutor, do you see that person in the courtroom today? Harmon, yes, pointing towards Sarnayev. He's right there. He has a blue shirt on. Does it get any better in terms of an eyewitness than that? No, it doesn't. When you have an eyewitness that's, that's certain about what they saw and uh, can make a positive ID, it's a very powerful fact for the jury. A little more than 24 hours later, Johar Sarnaya was in custody and his brother was dead. Uh, Scott, excuse me, Scott, the, uh, the prosecution says that this trial is going so fast that they expect that this might wrap up within two weeks. Don, what do you expect in the days to come? Well, tomorrow they expect to put on the carjacking victim who prefers to remain anonymous. You'll recall he escaped at one point, and the police say that that action directly led to the ultimate and bloody confrontation with the brothers. Don Daler in Boston for us tonight. Don, thanks very much.